So guys, I am back with another First Descendant video and today guys, I'm going to showcase to you yet another amazing early game, early to mid game Kuiper Shard Farm for players playing on normal mode. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. Tell me if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So a couple of days back now, I uploaded an amazing early game, early to mid game Kuiper Shard Farm for players playing on normal mode, not hard mode normal mode within that video i had people tell me there's a better one on sterile lands i went to sterile lands i tried and tested the mission everyone was trying out uploaded a video showcasing it basically showing you that it's nowhere near as good as the one on echo swamp on that video people were telling me there's another one on sterile lands that's better than the one on echo swamp and that's the one i bring you guys today so on sterile lands guys you want to come to the classified area and the mission is right here because a large nuclear reactor uh, the mission people are actually doing it now which is cool so from here guys spawn into here and come to this mission and again like i said i ain't really here to compare i'm really here to showcase you guys the best farms for early players so you want to run and jump here and try and land there i'm not sure noob i should have landed um, up top but hey and the mission is right there guys so yeah start the mission run inside here and this is basically it now, it's a nice farm it's plenty of uh, enemy density here I'm not gonna get it twisted I'm not gonna lie to you I'd say overall Kuiper shards and their drops ain't incredible but again this is normal mode this isn't hard mode we ain't playing on hard mode I mean yes this would be way better on hard mode as you know but players uh, the majority of the player base ain't sweating this game out many many I'd say about 80% ain't anywhere near hard mode yet Okay, so yep, you're coming down here enemies or what but this, this is what you do So you stand on the point you can see the bar at the top that fills up the mission is done When the time runs out the mission is done enemies spawn in and Basically run to the point and try and take it out. You can stand on the spot And there's less hassle in regards to this farm. There's less running around the enemies are slightly easy to take out but in regards to drops modules weapons which all equal out when dismantled into important materials you will need it isn't the best not in my opinion anyway i'm going to showcase you exactly the results how quick this can be done i mean it can only be done so quick i mean people have to stand on the point the progression bar progresses simple as that it isn't about killing it isn't about how fast you can take enemies out so it's just about as quick as you can fill up that bar so let's grab all these as well because I want it to be a true true test of exactly how much you get and the time limit it takes to do this. So boom, boom. But I mean this is not that much in regards to drops. And don't forget weapons, uh, reactors, the um, external components all dismantle into things that we need. So I'm just going to run around here, make sure I haven't lost, uh, missed anything. And we'll see the results screen. So that took a total of 1 minute 43 seconds. I got 407 Kuipers. A few, few drops. All materials at the end of the day. And from here guys you can simply just run up here. And restart the mission which we'll do one more time. We'll do one more time. Try out again. Take these enemies out. To progress and start the actual mission. Just like this. The bar comes up at the top. It's a 3 minute timer on it. Let me take out the enemies that run towards us. Now it's probably best to wait for them to get to the center point, just making it easier. And I've got to run around the room to pick up the Kuipers that they do drop. But other than that, come, come at us, come at us. So, yeah, wait for them to get to the center. This guy knows what he's doing as well. This makes life easier. We've got to run around the place. Just like so. This looks like a better run to be honest, I'm not gonna lie. It's like a better run. A few more ads seem to be spawning in unless I just weren't really paying much of attention on the last run. Take them all out. On the cage absolutely obliterates. Just like so. No enemies outside there. More enemies here. Boom boom boom. Give me that loot. Give me that loot. And again, it's all relative to what people want to run, how they want to be running things as well. 
I mean, if you want to stand on a point and just swing him in circles, taking out enemies for that loot, this is great for that. Let me just make sure I haven't missed any. And let's see what we got. So we got 354 Kuipers, took 1 minute 23 seconds, and I got these materials. Well, these weapons, which I will, uh, reactors and modules, which I will dismantle into materials that I need. Okay, so let's go to the Echo Swamp one. The one I posted the other day. You want to come to the right hand side, you want to come to the abandoned zone area, and spawn in right there. And I'll showcase you how quick you can run this, the difference in Kuipers you get, weapons, materials, modules, you name it guys, don't forget. When you dismantle the weapons, you get super alloys and liquid metal. Dismantling the reactors, you get solar noise and superconductor cores, I believe. And dismantling external components, you get the void organisms. So, yep, this is the mission, guys. Right here. Load it up. Just like so. From here, guys, you run up top. Take these enemies out and make sure you take all the enemies out. And it's probably best to run over their bodies as well when you take them out. Because, obviously, when they drop their shards, they drop on their bodies. So you keep that in mind. A couple of big guys here. One there is just fire dance good. And as always, normally one that hides behind this box, but hey, you can entice him out, do that. Just like so. And then guys, you'll see that the enemies will come out of this cave right here. Take the big guy out first. Take all these guys out. Again, make sure there's no stragglers up top. And then they'll all start coming out of this cave right here. Just like so. Just like so. And then guys you want from here you just want to run in here on bunny it's even easier because obviously the madness of attacks run around in circles here if the enemies don't get in your way take all these guys out just like so take all these guys again make sure you run over their bodies you're picking up the materials take these guys out in here just like so come this way guys take them all out boom mission is done grab that loot ultimate uh mod straight away Mission results, let's have a look. 1 minute 7 seconds, 866 Skypers, plenty more materials, and simply restart the mission from here. And again, if you've missed out on any, you can always run, because you're running over the area anyway. Uh, so you ain't gonna, as long as you're running over the same positions, you're still gonna pick up the Kuipers you left from the last runs, which is cool. Don't know what hit me there then, but it hurt. <laughs> so yeah, guys. Do what you want to do, use the actual farms you want to be using, but I hope you enjoy it. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.